Okay, uh, camp is set up. So let's take a walk around. It's about 4 o'clock, maybe a little after. Uh, the wind has picked up. The sun is gone. It's uh, actually pretty windy. So uh, it feels cold. I haven't taken the temp yet. But let's uh, take a look around and uh, see what the camp looks like. Okay, so uh, the firewood is processed. Uh, that plastic bag is full of uh, little pieces of kindling. And then um, there's some big pieces here. They're set. Um, I'm going to probably make a fire even though it's windy. I'll probably make a fire because uh, I think maybe it'll be warmer, but sitting out in the wind, uh, I'm not sure how warm it's going to be. So we'll have to see. If I don't make a fire, I'll just move this uh, under the tarp for tonight. Uh, so tarp is all set up. Uh, the kitchen is in there, uh, gear is stored underneath, so, um, you know, it all gets buttoned up uh, when it gets dark and so on, so uh, it's just in there now. I just had a late lunch, some soup and a hard-boiled egg, and uh, now I'm going to have some uh, tea and a... Um, protein bar. And uh, you probably can't see it, but over there I hung the, uh, I hung the uh, rope for the bear bag. So that's all done. Okay, there's the uh, water bag. And the hammock is all pitched. Give you a shot from the end. So the sock is on the hammock, so it's all enclosed, and uh, I don't have it in porch mode, so I'll tighten everything up uh, tonight uh, before I get in. And uh, over here on this side, uh, you can see the gear hammock, I've got my extra clothes so that's uh, handy. So I'll probably close up the ends of the hammock uh, of the tarp tonight just to kind of seal it off a bit. And see now it's it's opened up which makes it easier to get in and out. But I'm going to seal it up. So this is a good hang. It looks like I haven't gotten in yet but uh, the distance is right. A, uh, all pine needles and so on. It's adjacent to the main, main area. So you can see it's, uh, it's a really nice campsite. It's on a point of land so you get uh, a view. This is a view to the east. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. You can see the mountains in the distance. And the wind is strong, so that the lake is uh, got some waves on it. So you know, once that sun went under and everything, and the wind picked up, it wasn't real good to go out for a paddle. So I didn't do it. That's the plan for tomorrow: is to go for a paddle. I'll show you the other side. This is uh, pretty much west. I have to check the directions of my compass and see what the directions are. This is west. So you can see there's a lot of cloud cover. So we could get rain or 
feels cold enough for snow showers actually. It's beautiful though. I mean, even though uh, you know the weather is beautiful, it's still beautiful. I like all those specks of color on the uh, mountainsides with the few trees that still have some color. Give you a view of that. So you can see that some of those trees are with color are remaining. Everything else is pretty much brown. There was a loon calling out before. The uh, canoe I got stowed up there. Just pulled it up. Want to shore the paddles are down there with it. So the uh, campsite's nice. I would definitely camp here again. There's room for a couple of tents. Nice spot for the hammock, the tarp. It's got a great fire ring. It's got a good thunder box. I haven't used it yet, but it looks good. So, uh, you know, that's pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, have my tea uh, over there on that shore, kind of out of the wind. Um, with a view of the lake and then uh, maybe I'll get a fire going warm up a little bit uh, before dinner okay so that's it for now